Hello everybody, welcome back to Alex Crossing. Today, we got some special things going on. First, we're going to check the mail, as always. Uh, for those who don't know, Alex Crossing is my daily Animal Crossing stream, where I stream Animal Crossing every day until it's done. If you want to see previous streams, you can check the playlist, which should be linked up at the top right corner of the screen. If not, you can find it in the channel down below, and why don't you subscribe while you're taking a look. Uh, I did miss a day, which is fine. And uh, today, well, today's letter day. Today is the day where I read your guys' letters and fan mail, which uh, today's, uh, this this week's journal topic, or suggested letter topic, was who's your favorite villager and why. Now, nobody left any letters, which is fine. That's going to happen, you know. Uh, hey, my peeps, Nick here reporting for Bangor News. I buried the greatest treasure ever in one of the sea acres. Go find it. I'll have to find it, won't I? Like a manager, which no one's I think I don't think anyone's gotten that one yet. But uh polar fleece. When did I get that? Oh, that's what that is. Alright, I never knew that was the polar fleece. But yeah, this week's topic was Who's your favorite uh, who's your favorite villager in the game and why? Well, I didn't receive any letters, however, my personal favorite villa villager is Rosie, purely just because she's very, very, very cute. She was always nice to me when other villagers were mean to me in Wild World. And so I guess that's why she's my favorite. I'm pretty basic that way. She's also a blue cat, and she's also a major character in the Animal Crossing movie. Now, Vey is here in the background, sitting on the couch watching me play, and since I didn't receive any fan mail, I'll ask her. Hey, Vea, what's your favorite villager? Emerald? Emerald's your favorite? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, she is always excited to you. I, I I know there are certain animals that like collecting certain things. Like, I know Butch, uh, Butch the little purple and black dog. Or, no, purple and black, wow. Brown and black dog really likes um, collecting fossils. And sadly, that personality's kind of gone from him in the later games, which is a bit of a bummer. But, yeah. Oh, I will. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I'll take a look. They're a duck. Awesome. All right, I'll take a look. Nook way. Oh yeah, Nook's been upgraded. Well, we have some other letters. I'm gonna throw away the two that don't matter, which are the one from Nook and the one from the Happy Room Association, which I haven't even read because, well, yesterday they told me I put garbage in my house, which I don't. It's a shell. It's not garbage. I can decorate with sea seashells if I can't if I want. Wait, I got two of them. Oh, oh, Nook way. Nice. Yeah. All right. So let's grab. Let's read this one. It's a neck of a plesiosaur, something we already have. Yay! I cannot get a break with these dinosaur bones, can I? Just open her up. Present. Let's, see. let's just let's just empty out all the presents first, and then we can see. Read uh, trilobite, which I already have. Again, I can sell this for a good price. Luckily, the museum slowing down in terms of its upgrades is going to definitely split split up. It's going to definitely split up the um, the process of making money. This one I think we don't have. The torso of a plesiosaur. Okay. Read this one. Mammoth skull. We don't have that one either. That's new. Excellent. Grab these two and put them down below. So I know that they are the ones. Read this one. The skull of a T-Rex. That's also new. Awesome. We're getting some good fossils today. I guess this is what happens when you wait a couple days, you get your full six fossils in the mail. Or so of a T-Rex, which I think we already have. I'm gonna set it here just in case, and we'll go ahead and open it. Let's toss either way. But yeah, today we're gonna go, uh, our primary goal is going to be getting a song from KK Slider, which we'll likely end the video with. Everything else we'll be doing is just buying and selling items, I need to look for treasure, I need to meet the new villagers. For now, though, we're going to make our way down to the museum and get all these fossils out of our inventory. Which is usually the first goal of the day. Um, I also need to go buy stationery from Nookway. Ah. Oh yeah. Let me see if I... Is this a keg or is this a barrel? Keg, alright. Nook said he had a barrel in stock. I have to take a look at that. That seems like it matched my little... My little woodsy aesthetic I got going on in here. All right, let's head down south and go uh, visit the museum. Also, it is nighttime. I did have to do a slight amount of time traveling in order to be able to even go see Nook. 
because of the way that the game's set up. Oh, hey, Mint. Mint, I don't think I've met you yet. Have I met Mint? Let's see. I believe Mint is new. Creepy bear room. Oh, you don't know me. Good to meet you, Mint. How are things? It's gone and become rather dark. That's kind of a... That's a nice way of putting it. I do. Of course. Yeah. Do I... Do I have to post anything? Like, is there any benefit to that? I have to walk all the way to Acre B3 to read it. Oh, that's true! The bulletin board's right next to my house, but to these guys, I gotta walk across town. That ain't cool. There's Tutu, Shivri, uh, Betty and Dizzy, Snake, Emerald, Velma, Bob. Where's the new person? Oh, Pate. Well, he's on the way to... Oh, excuse me. He's on the way to Nooks. Let me grab this right here. Once I get some stationary fossils, will become less of a problem. But it's a, it's a mega umbloid. Let's see if he matches with the rest of the decor. Hey there, you two. So, um, yeah, in my time while I was away, I actually, um, tried to set up emulation. Or, yeah, cat's out of the bag. I'm emulating this, of course. I mean, it's been pretty obvious since day one, if you know any better. I'm not actually using a super modified Time Cube GameCube. Uh, in reality, I'm running this on an emulator on my computer. Now, I do own Animal Crossing, or I have at one point, and then lost it, but I did own it at one point or another. Uh, I have no room for fruit. We'll have to come back into this later. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to get the emulation set up for Wild World, and while it doesn't look as pretty as I wanted it to look, like, I, I, there's only so much you can do for a DS game, and you, I don't think you'll ever make it look as good as, I, for example, I made this look. Uh, I got pretty pretty far with it, and to be honest, uh, what's funny about the game is when I was younger, I didn't actually... When I was actually... I actually disliked its graphics. I remember when I switched from this version to Wild World, I was really, really disappointed. Which... It's kind of funny, because like on, on the DS, it was amazing that you could have that much of a 3D game on a handheld. But it was more about what I liked to do at the time, and one of the things I liked to do was I liked to decorate my house with uh, fossils and shells. Like, and what I liked about them is that they became these really nice looking 3D objects once you put them inside the house. However, in Wild World, because of the because of the DS screen and the, the lower graphical fidelity, they became sprites, and that was one of the disappointing things about the game for me. There was other things that bothered me about the game, for example, how the town was no longer split into these two distinct levels, like an upper and a lower, where it was all flat. And that, I don't think it ever went back to that until City Folk. Like, I don't know, I don't even remember if City Folk had two different levels of town. I think it was all one flat town, and that was kind of a bummer to me. But that's just a preference thing. No, I think I was just young, and I had too much other stuff going on at the time to really stop and appreciate it. I am looking forward to um, playing it again, though. The Mammoth is complete! Yay! Mammoths, the wooliest of woolies. They are, of course, mammals and ones that live much, much later than the dinosaurs. What, what? The Pleistocene Earth was their home, and they, firm, they are firmly established in the minds of as creatures. Oh, wow. Try that again, shall we? Pleistocene Earth was their home, and they are, form, they are firmly established in our minds as creatures of the Ice Age. Mammoths ranged in height from 6 feet to 14 feet at the shoulder, the woolly mammoth is their most famous species. The last of the mammoths died out some 10,000 years ago, which co coincides with the ascent of man. It is perhaps the first animal whose extinction was contributed to by man, though certainly not the last. Humans can truly be the most thoughtless and callous creatures when they think of only themselves. Who, I say, who, I... Oh dear, I wasn't referring to you personally. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no offense intended, temper temper, oh dear. We have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Blathers, I think you're racist. I'm worried about you, Blathers. Oh wait, no, I have more stuff to donate. Capital! Let's donate an item. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We got... the Plesio Torso. How about this? Will this do? Oh, it is, it is. How much is the Plesiosaurus done? Why? It's you. You donated this yourself. Quite a hoot, that. It'll sell well. I never really... I never really set up uh, an, uh, any fossils or dinosaur bones inside my house. It was always They were always too big and I never had room for them. 
I guess I, I guess I set up like an amber once, but ever since. Um, we tried the plesio torso. Let's try the T-Rex skull. The thing that the sprite's literally made of. Today, the remaining pieces of a prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. You have our deepest, most perfect gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? Yeah. What do we have that we're missing? Uh, you know, I, I, didn't see, I need to see what's missing off the uh, plesiosaur. Alright, cool. Let's head in there. Oh, it's literally the neck. I have it. I have the last piece. That's awesome. Yep, there's the final woolly mammoth. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? The last mammoth. Looks miserable. Uh, the T-Rex is missing his tail. The Stegosaur is missing his torso. Yeah, we're, we're coming up on the end of these upgrades here. We're going to be soon just selling fossils for money. Which means all I really have to dedicate myself to fishing more often. Howdy there, Blathers. Uh, yeah, let's donate the Plesio neck, shall we? Plesio neck. That was terrible, I'm so sorry. T-Rex torso, trilobite, Plesio neck. There you go. At last, at last, huzzah, the Plesio saw is complete. I never thought I would live to see this day. It's fantastic. Brilliant. A wonderful, joyful occasion. The light ripples through my body and soul. But I'm getting carried away. Now then, where shall I begin with the Levi these leviathans? The great plesiosaurs. In actuality, plesiosaurs were not dinosaurs, but aquatic reptiles, which ruled the seas during the Me Mesozoic era. There were two main types of plesiosaurs, both of, both of which had broad bodies, four large flippers, and short tails. The two groups were distinct in that one had long necks and small heads, and the other had short necks and large heads. The plesiosaurs ranged in size from 8 to 46 feet long, and the diets consisted of fish and other marine creatures. The first plesiosaur fossil was discovered in 1824, and subsequent findings have been made on every continent. Incredibly, what? Indeed, what, wouldn't, what I wouldn't do to dig one up myself. The thrill, where in blazes is my shovel? Ooh, oh my. I must beg your pardon. The very idea of fi field works gets my crumpets toasting. Sorry, right, I just feel like doing a little bit of voice acting as blathers. Uh, no, that'll be all. Yep, yep, no problem. So yeah, next we'll make our way over to Nooks. I gotta sell these fossils, as well as this shirt, which I no longer want. Um, but yeah, where was I? Wild World. Yeah, I, I started working on that and getting that set up, and it looks good, but what I don't, what I wasn't expecting was for me to turn that up, turn that game on, and just get hit in the face with, like, a wall of nostalgia. Like, I have gone from being like, uh, I don't really remember really being that crazy about Wild World. People love the game, I know, but, like, I remember I didn't enjoy it all that much. However, right as I turned it on, just, like, a wave of nostalgia hit me, and now I'm really excited to go back. Like, I'm super duper pumped for it. Uh, can't wait till we get there. I mean, it's gonna be a while. Like, I, I'll i be honest with you, I don't know how much longer this game's going to take. Like, I thought it was, um, when I first started this, I was expecting to be working on it for, like, a year because, well, Animal Crossing has a pretty slow, spa low, slow pace to it. Nook way! So, this was actually the nooks I was first introduced to. Um, because the town I had joined the first time already had some work in it from my... Uh, for my siblings, so it was really cool that like the first nook, uh, the first nook upgrade I ever saw was Nookway. And now I got, now I've earned it myself years later. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it's just timely manner too. Really, it wasn't much, so it probably wasn't too hard on your wallet, was it? So cheap you didn't even notice it. Why aren't you the? Why aren't you the high roller? But uh, yeah, sure. Please go ahead. Yes, of course. My dream house? Ooh, talking about a dream house now. Red, orange, yellow. What are the other colors? Um, how about another color? Purple. Purple is a good color, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, my house is going to be upgraded again tomorrow, guys. I'm excited. Whoa, what's all this new stuff? Whoa. Oh, hey, my toxic waste barrel. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, it's so cool to finally be back here after years. Oh, wow. This is weird, guys. It's like I've been it's like I'm transported back in time. Anyway, uh, let's get money. 
I like the cell. But yeah, one of the other things I've, uh, I, I started thinking about was basically kind of the flawed nature of emulation. Like, any sort of... Uh, there's a reason why to this day, like, you will see people um, that are, like, really crazy about a game, like, competitive people... Basically, the people that play a game competitively, be it for speedrunning or for PvP purposes, they still in insist on using they still insist on using original hardware and be it for like avoiding cheats or whatever but like the main thing is just they want the truest like the truest to the original version of the game and i think that's really really cool however when it comes to this there's, there's, okay how do i put it there's really only a couple ways you can guarantee that you're going to get everything both of which are somewhat expensive like, if you want to play as many games as possible on all systems and not be restricted by owning a single console, there's two different ways you can go about it. Way number one is to buy everything. Simply to purchase the purchase every console and try to find out which, which games are the best on either console or different in the ways that you like, and then build your hardware around that. So, for example, if you want to play classic games you're going to need to, like if you want to play games that, that look good from the ps2 back you're going to need to buy a second television you're going to need to buy a um a tv with a butt on it uh, a crt i think it's called and you're going to need to set that up that way so like for example if you look at like uh the avgn's gaming setup i believe and, and a lot of setups you'll see online people that really care about what their games look like You'll have the cubby hole with all the different systems in it. Like you'll have the the cubby desk or the cubby shelf thing with all the different game systems, and then you'll have the two separate TVs. And I think that's awesome. That's really cool that people have that set up. But that is expensive. Not just the furniture, but like the two televisions themselves. That's roof paint. I know that much. What's this? It's a signboard. It's a steal at that price. Would you like it? Ooh. How much is it? I'm gonna hold off on that. I think uh, Vea might want that. I think we're good on wallpaper right now. Anyway. You know, this clock looks nice. It looks like it might match with the decor of my house. How much is this? It's an antique clock. 2,000 bells. Yeah, sure, I'll buy it. It looks like it could go well with it. Raffle ticket, thank you. How to use this month's raffle ticket? This month. Got you. Hey, I need stationery. Aloha paper, yes. All right, let's start getting these, getting this paper ready. I'm gonna write four letters to the museum. Grab the fo today's fossils. But yeah, that's one way you can go about it is to buy every system and get a setup like that going. Uh, the other way you can go about it is, uh, well, the and, and okay, so with with that, with, sorry. I, uh, I'm very tired, and I'm just waking up. My breakfast came in super late, so I haven't been able to get ca caffeine in a timely manner. However, um, shit. Dude. And I swore, too. This stream's a win! This stream's a win today! Oh my goodness! I am doing terrible. I am so sorry. Uh, wow. My goodness. I should just end this here. Um, looks, looks, looks like it's closed. It's closed? I, I still have stuff to sell. <sighs> okay, well let's find out where there need where the town needs help. Do, 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 do. But yeah, the first setup I like to call a collector setup because it requires you to collect a large number of systems, a large large amounts of hardware, and a large number of games that you're going to pay a lot of money for. It is by far the most expensive way to go about things, but it guarantees not the best experience, but I'd say the truest experience to, like, what the games originally were when you got them, right? However, there is another way, and that is quite simply to buy a gaming computer and emulate everything. And that, that's, that is a possibility, and that's the path I like to take. Travis likes to do a mix of the two, and the, most people, I think, would do a mix of the two. But for me, I personally have chosen to get the computer and emulate. Now, you're going to save a lot of money, uh, and you are going, but it's going to require a lot of tinkering and a lot of things just not working. 
as well as a lot of waiting. Because like if you even if you're like even if you're not waiting for official PC games, you're still waiting for emulators or the people that work on emulators to make emulators function better. So like for instance, there are a couple games on the 3DS I'm waiting to be emulated a bit better before I try them again. Vun rent? Uh, yeah, the rent's paid. Rent is the, the rent is very much paid. Now we're just waiting for the house to get upgraded. Um, however, yeah, so that's another way you can go about it. So if you want to get as many games as possible, that's really the best way to go, or th that's another great way to go about it. And But either way, no matter what you do, you're going to be expend spending a lot of money, because especially the newer emulators require computers with ridiculously powerful hardware. But you wouldn't think they do, but they, they certainly do. If you want to play, if you want your PS3 and 360 games to look decent, a lot of times you're just going to be out of luck. And the few times it does work, you're going to need a, a decent computer for it. And that's just kind of the sad truth of the matter. I wish it didn't work that way, but it sadly does. Um, but with that, you're able to get games looking like this. And the reason why I specified that you don't get the best versions on the original hardware is that you get the best versions through emulation. Like, unless there's an official HD remaster, uh, you're never going to get Animal Crossing looking this good. Now, now that the, what I just said there in terms of an official remaster, that's another great thing about emulation and doing everything on the PC is that you don't have to wait. Uh, or that you don't have to rely on a company. That's the biggest thing, is that you're able to control everything yourself. Howdy, new villager! Hold on, I see a big old fishy. I want it. Alright, see it, see it, see it, okay. Ooh! Oh boy! I hooked a string fish. It was just stringing along. That was awesome! Big new fish! Let's go drop it off at the museum. Uh, we gotta stop at home first though. Oh, right, new villager. Heck. Howdy, new villager. Let me in your house. I'm breaking in. Well, this place is a nightmare. Stop screaming. No. No. We haven't. Nice to meet you, babe. My name is Alex. Yay! Stop screaming. Why is your house so creepy? Uh, let's chat. I like it. I actually really like Quackle. Quackle's great! No, it's- it's wonderful. You just got here. Don't change your- don't change yourself for other people yet. Or at all. KK Dirge. Alright. KK becomes uncanny. Um. Right. So yeah, that's really if you want to gather as many games as possible and play as many as you can, especially classics. You're really going to need to go the, those one of two ways, and you can't really rely on a single system to get you everything you need. You used to be able to, like, for example, if when the PS2 came out, if you wanted to play every game in the PlayStation library, the PS2 and the PS3 at launch were valid systems to own, and they really were the best way to play those games. Now? Of course not. You're really cut off from early game libraries, and some systems even run the games worse than when they than what they were when they first came out. And so it's really the only way to go is to collect and use original hardware, which is very, very expensive. And that's kind of like a millionaire project, you know? Like if I had everything else in life all squared away, that's what I would do. That's just what, it used to be what I wanted to do. But nowadays I learned that if you just own a decent gaming computer, you can really emulate everything. And uh, emulation really does cover all your bases. Um, 
So yeah, sad to say I'm not playing this on original hardware, but you know what? It wouldn't look so good if I did. And I'm glad I'm playing it on this instead. Much as I love the GameCube, I know my computer is more powerful. Because of course it is, right? That's the kind of thing, it's just like... I, you know, I bought this gaming PC, it's very, it's very, very nice, but I'm not using it to play the most cutting edge of PC games. Most of the time I'm playing it small indie games that aren't, you know, that graphically, in graphically intense, or I'm playing, well, Animal Crossing. Or old computer games. Or old game games. Hey, I have flowers here, that's cool. Rainy day paper, yeah, that's right. Alright, let's make four more. Uh, let's make one more museum letter and then the rest will save. There we go. Anyway. But yeah, I was just thinking about that before I hopped on today, and I've talked to Travis about it quite a few times about like his setup and why I like. Like, he, he offhandly, offhand mentions, like, well, once Alex gets his Elgato, we'll be able to, and I'm like, I don't think that's gonna ever happen, man. Oh, man, I love Yeek, too. Yeek's a great game. It's not, but I mean, it's it's fun to talk about. And the Definitive Edition's coming out soon. I really hope they pat, they fix that game up. Good to see you, Hammer. But yeah, like, um... Did that, that didn't pop up on screen, did it? The chat message. Oh, well. I got a fish to donate. But yeah, Travis will be like, well, once Alex gets his Elgato, we'll be able to get into it. We'll be able to have him start streaming console games. But like, no, I don't think I ever will. Like, I own a PS4 and I can screen share with it and it doesn't look great, but it gets the job done. And I would rather do that than ever put money into an Elgato or put money into my system. In, like a system that I am literally planning on throwing in the cr trash can once it stops working. Like, I don't really like my PS4 all that much. There's, uh, any system in which I spend more time playing, like, watching Netflix on it than playing games, it's, uh, not great. We'll be thoroughly treasured. Yay! I don't like the PS4 that much. I, I, not because of anything, like, official with it, but it's more just, this is the system that completely pushed me away on console gaming. Day donated by Alex. Read. El Chubb. So, and I can look at all the different fish. There he is! He's huge! I wouldn't have put him in this tank, though. He's a bit small, a bit big for it, don't you think? Just a thought. But, uh... Yeah, I remember the last time I tried playing the PS4, like, I'd play a newer game on it. I played the, uh, Medieval, uh, remake. Also, can we talk a bit about remakes and remasters and re-releases? People get really anal retentive about, like, the way you uh, talk about them. Like, if you call call a game with a graphical upgrade a remake or a remaster. Um, I don't really know what to call them, to be honest, because everyone yells at me when I call them one or the other. At this point, I don't really even care. I'm tempted to start calling them redos because it sounds mean. And it's like, oh, you messed it up the first time, so now you have to do it over. But, like, I don't want to be that guy, you know? So I just... I guess the real problem is if someone calls some calls a remaster, a remake, a remake, a remaster, or a remaster, a re-release, just, just nod. Just be like, okay. Because it's not a big deal. And besides, those are all corporate terms I don't like to use anyway, so... I, I don't like to let companies define how I speak. I find it's... I find it to be disgusting to me, personally. Corporations killed my parents. <laughs> Not really. No, just I don't like big companies. And, uh, personally, the idea of working for one makes me my skin crawl. Um... Let me go ahead and plant some flowers. I'm worried I, um, got away from the wholesome nature of what Alex Crossing was supposed to be sometimes, but I'm still having fun. I had I had a bit of a stressful moment earlier, but yeah, things are going better now. Just chattering along. I find the way people gobble up remasters to be rather unfortunate, because 
Honestly, I don't think most games that get remasters need them, because I don't think a good game needs a remaster. It's the bad games that need it. That's why I'm excited for Yeek Definitive Edition, because that is a pretty bad game. And so that game getting another coat of paint to work better is really, really cool. Like, imagine instead of, like, trying to fix No Man's Sky, they instead made... They instead, like, made Elite. Like, a remaster of Elite for the Commodore, you know? I was like, I would have rather had no... Like, go back and fix the thing that's flawed, not the thing that people like. Like, don't add CG to the original Star Wars movies. Go back and take CG out of the prequels. Huh. I just think that's the way they should be done about it. Like, if you're trying to... Don't, don't try to fix something that's already beloved. Go... Go back and repair the thing that's broken. Like, never remaster Devil May Cry 3, always remaster Devil May Cry 2. It is interesting seeing how people monitor and change games, though. Like, they've already made some changes to Yeek that I find to be super interesting. And say a lot about the, um... People, the person making it. Like, um, I really like the... I don't know if I like them, but it's like... I'm aware of them and I find them interesting. Like, I I rather enjoy the changes made to the llama. The uh, yellow llama. Hmm. I don't know if the antique clock was the way to go. Maybe I shouldn't have purchased that. And I have to ditch the barrel. I don't want to do that. What? Well, then I have to go all the way down to the basement to use my dresser. Alright. No, I don't think so. Let me throw the clock there and see how it looks. Not bad. We'll try it that way for, for a little bit. Do -do -do -do. My goodness. Trying to lure Penny into your lap. Crazy little cat. Yep, so we'll go ahead and just put away the rainy day paper. There we go. Free up the slot. And then I have my new, uh, my Mega Umbloid. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, I like him. Ways I can stay though. Oh, there goes the train. Let's put you here. Nice. Good change in scenery, shop. Looks good. All right, let's head downstairs and drop off the extra gyroid, and then we can head back upstairs and probably go see KK at this point. I gotta find the money rock. Shoot, and all the all and all today's fossils. <coughs> There's still a bit more to do. Mild Merled. I feel like that's a good way to that's a good thing to call the stream because it is pretty mild and laid back. Where was the treasure? Sea Acre. Okay. Alright, well. Let's go see if we can find it. I might have already found it. You never know. There's one. It's a fossil! He didn't bury that. Seventeen thousand bells already. Man, like uh, when I find that money rock, you know I think that's the the number one thing speeding up this playthrough is uh, the acquisition, the daily acquisition of the money rock has really sped things along. Oh, Emerald's asleep. I'll have to send her to bed on Vega's request. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. I must ask, how did I get here? Is that actually a reference? This is not my beautiful house. 
How did I get here? Watching the days go by. Same as it ever was. That's cool. That's a nice little reference. A good reference is something that, unless you know exactly what it's referencing, uh, it won't stick out at all. It's something that's like, fits subtly and is interwoven with the story. And like, or it, 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 yeah, in whatever world you're in, and if you're, um, if your reaction is what? Or really? That's probably not the best. Your reaction should be nice. Ah, cool. I get that reference. I know what that is. That's pretty, that's, that's a smart way to use that. References like a lot of things in art are, are quite simply tools that should be used in certain ways, or not, how do I put it? People like it when they are used in certain ways, I guess. If I try to, I'm trying to avoid saying things like should. Gotta get away from absolutes and saying how things should be. And I need to think more, and I, need to, and I really need to contextualize it a lot more as how I would like it to be. There's a very, very unfortunate mixing of fact and opinion on the internet, and I'm... Uh, I personally would prefer it if it wasn't like that, I guess. So instead of saying something, something is bad, quite simply say... I don't like it. Just one of those language things I, I try and train, I'm trying to train myself with. And it's always a bummer when you're uh, when you're a streamer and you're just botching super hard. But the good news here here's the thing: typically when I'm botching and having a bad stream, it's because of two reasons. It's because I'm I feel as though I'm embarrassing myself, and also because no one's watching. But the thing is, if you're embarrassing yourself, wouldn't it be better if no one was watching, you know? Looking on the bright side of things. I might not even find the money rock this time. He must have, like, buried a fossil or something. Because if so, I found it. But if not, then I don't know where it is and I can't seem to find it. Nin Oh, Vaya might have found it. Snake hid his treasure well. Hey there, Robin. I don't like you, so I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> there are certain villagers I just don't like. I probably won't be on tomorrow because it's a big Sunday. My Sundays and my Sundays and Fridays are typically very busy. Hey, Chuck. I really hope the KK is still there. That'd be a bummer if he wasn't, because then I'd have to literally stop the game, rewind the clock, and then come back. Which, that'd be unfortunate. Right now I'm just hunting for fossils and the money rock. This one could be the money rock, guys. Wait, is it 10 p.m. right now? Wow, my entire night's off the rails. Yep, yeah, I don't have time for the money rock. I'm gonna have to just wrap things up early tonight, I guess. Been a rather bad meandering stream. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure the next one will be better. Uh, let's head up to KK and watch him perform. Oh, we got some more trees to plant, actually. Soon I won't have to hunt for fossils in the money rock every day. Having this many beaches around will simply make me rich. Each, each rich. I guess I'll go add to the peach grove to the uh, west of my or to the east of my house. All right, let's go. Doop -doop 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 -doop. That's another thing I've I feel like I've gotten worse at on stream is feeling dead air. Like, filling dead air used to be something that I found almost, like, second nature, and now I have to struggle to think of things to say while I'm on stream, and... I don't know. Do you ever worry that you have moments in your life where you think back to the good times, and... 
you're wondering if that's that one magical moment. People, like a lot of old people talk about it regretfully, is that they had that one moment where there was just this really cool thing that happened to them, and they'll never have it again. It was that one moment they missed, and they just didn't appreciate it enough while it's there. I'm wondering if I've already had that as a streamer, you know? Like, were the Fallout 2 and Fallout 3 streams that for me? Like, that was that moment where that was my all-time high as a streamer? Perhaps. It's upsetting to think about, without a doubt. Turn around. There you go, little dude. What's a lily pad table? I'm gonna leave that for uh leave that for Vea. There we go. Nope. Well, alright then. There goes the the weed. Let's check next to let's go check the peach grove and see how our peach trees are growing. If they're growing, I would if they've already grown, I will pluck all the peaches. And I will replant them. It looks as though they haven't grown in yet, so... Yeah, there they are, see? Haven't grown in completely. That's fine. Berry. I love the little, little sound it makes when you plant something. The little... You know, the town always feels super open, but when you're thinking in the context of these little uh, blocks, or these little squares, the town feels way more crowded. I guess when you confine yourself to a small area, it does feel crowded. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go drop off my stuff, and then we can go head over to CKK. Hopefully he's still in town. I'm kind of worried that he won't be. If he's not, I might just... I'm debating whether I'll end the stream there, or I'll cut it, or if I'll change the time or what, because it's kind of a bummer that I missed him, if so. Drop. Welcome to my gyroid dungeon. It's creepy. Alright, let's go sell, uh, let's go sell some stuff. Or, not sell some stuff, let's go send our, let's go see Phyllis and send off our, uh, fossils. Then after that we can, uh, head to go see Toto KK. Let's make sure he's here first, shall we? There he is, yay! Awesome, so, the day can still be saved and the stream could end. Well. And I'm not gonna really bother trying to find a song. Hopefully he'll find a song that suits my mood. Hey there, Phyllis. Let's, uh, let's mail a letter. Uh, no, that'll be all, Phyllis. Do I even have any... Do I have a loan I can pay? No, I'm still waiting on Nook to, uh, remodel the house. Yeah, my room's gonna get real big soon, and I'll, make, I'll have way more room for furniture, so that'll be nice. I can probably grab some things out from the basement that I can actually install, or, uh, set up in the house. Anyways, let's go see the Tokeke. Hey, guy. Nice. Please do. Please jam for me. Not really. Lucky KK. Now me 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 now
Yeah, it looks like your chat stuff is just not popping up, Hammer. Sorry if I missed any of your messages, man. Oh, there it is. It's just late. Me now, me now. This is like a one of the songs the orcs would sing in like Lord of the Rings while they're marching to war. That's what comes to mind. Look at him go. I like his little box he sits on. Oh, Bill Trinan, yeah, he works in Nintendo. That's the that's the commentary Alex has today. He is oh I'm defeated. I don't know why I'm always so tired. I just realized his nose is a flat sprite. Oh dear. Yay, that was pretty good. That'll be my new theme. I heard that'll be new, my new house music. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for playing. Sure, man. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, cool. Let's head back inside, shall we? Alright, we'll install the new music real quick. Two days ago, pop in a tune. We'll put in Lucky KK. Oh, this is groovy. And dance! Alright. So yeah, that's my new house theme. That's very... Ooh, ooh, I think I might keep that. That's very, like, tavern, medieval tavern, which is, like, one of my favorite aesthetics. Heck, man, that's awesome. All right. If you enjoyed this uh, video, you are a... You're awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know get how anyone could. Uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, no journal topic for today. I'll think of one tomorrow or Monday. Probably Monday. Yeah, I'll think of one Monday. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, be sure to do that. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, if you want to join my community, be sure to join my Twitter and my Discord down below. And if you want to catch me live some other time, such as pretty much right now playing Yakuza on Twitch, check out the Twitch link down below. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good night.